And reporting there to Iran now, which says it plans to buy more than 100 Airbus planes. Iranian media say that the deal will be signed during President Hassan Rouhani's visit to Paris on Wednesday. It follows the lifting of international sanctions over Iran's nuclear program. Our business reporter Joe Lynham has been analysing the facts and figures and uh, joins me now in the studio. We're also joined by Emir Paiva from the BBC's Persian service. First to you, uh, Joe, what more do we know about this deal? Just been speaking to Airbus and they say nothing has changed since last week, since the lifting of sanctions uh, following the Vienna Agreement last summer. Um, the situation as they are concerned is a lot of international companies are wary of doing deals with Iran until they know that the new sanctions regime has been lifted fully, i.e. that they can't get punished in hindsight by the American government, for example, for buying any planes that might even have an American part in it. So they're holding off before they do any talks. I understand that there is talks, but not commercial talks. And I also understand that when Iran says that it is buying 114 Airbus planes, it doesn't mean they're, just, they're going to buy them from Airbus. They could be getting them from leasing companies who already own a stack of planes that are ready to roll. Because Iran, as Emir will tell you, urgently needs a lot of aircraft. Its fleet is pretty aging. Uh, and the companies in question, Airbus or Boeing or whatever it is, would love to sell them. But they really don't want to get a, a billion dollar fine like the likes of Standard Charter and HSBC got from Washington uh, a few years ago for breaching Iranian sanctions. Amir, however they get them and when they get these planes, they desperately need them, don't they? Absolutely. Uh, one of the biggest fruits of lifting sanctions, if you will, is for Iran to revive its aging uh, aviation fleet. The sanctions on Iranian aviation do, do not go back only to the nuclear standoff, rather further back, almost 30 years, to the Iran-US disputes. Uh, because of which U.S. Uh, blacklisted Iran and have never been allowing uh, neither the uh, U.S. Uh, companies and then later on even the European ones sell Iran any aircraft. So we, uh, there have been so many accidents in Iran, there have been so many people who died in those accidents and this will be desperately, desperately needed. It's a vast country, it's a huge country, Iran. Air travel is needed. Uh, are you literally flying on the wing of a prayer there at the moment? that you do absolutely it's as you say it's a huge country there will be a massive revival of tourism to the country because sanctions are lifted iran is saying it needs 400 medium to long haul planes plus another hundred short uh, haul planes inside the country so if we're talking about a total of 500 uh, over the next five years it's a it's a huge it will be a huge market and i'm sure that the companies will find one way or the other to sell or lease these planes to Iran because commercially there will be a lucrative deals and um, like I said they're very much needed in the country. So Joe do you think talks have been going on because we did hear an announcement a week ago from Iran that they were going to do a deal with Airbus. Uh, there might have been a few text messages swapped but believe you me the, a lot of international companies would love to do business with Iran but they dare not take a chance of it. Remember these planes are sold in dollars it's denominated in US dollars. Anything that is denominated in US dollars is routed eventually through the American banking system which means the Americans can get their hands on the deal and say well you're in breach of our sanctions because a lot of people think that all sanctions have been lifted. That is simply not the case. The Europeans uh, are now allowed to do a lot of business with Iran, but there's still quite a few sanctions in place uh, from the American side towards the Iranians, and that dates back to 1979 and the ki uh, kidnapping hostage crisis uh, back then. Joe, I mean, many thanks for talking us through that. Thank